Alright guys, it is Aaron here and today I got something pretty spectacular for you. I have a laptop that has recently blown itself up due to heat. Like, frick, it's hot. Stupid hot. So, what do we do about it? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix your overheated laptop. So, come along. And I took the bottom apart already, so I've already jumped ahead. I pulled the hard drives out, and it's still bloody hot. So what you need to do is take out all the screws. You see those screw holes? There's like 150 of them. Every laptop is different. Everything about every laptop is different, and every way to get into every laptop is different. If you are not very good at technology, don't even attempt this. But when you've taken all the bottom screws off, you will separate the top from the bottom, and the top always comes off first, almost always comes off first. So where the keyboard is has to come out first, and then you can get at the bottom. I've taken the whole top off, which took forever and a million screws. I figured out what the problem was. Looks like it overheated and melted a, the wires out of a connector here for the Bluetooth. See, look at these wires. Yeah, ridiculous, and it shorted out. Anyway, so what you need to do, we're getting at these two things right here. And under there is your CPU and everything. So... We just removed the casing, and now we're looking at the motherboard. This is the top view of motherboard, so we take those screws out. Uh, this is what it's like with the screws and the heatsink off. You see, look at that burn mark on there. Ooh. Um, as you can see, all the thermal compound has moved around the outside of the um, processor. And then on top, you can actually see a little bit of a burn mark, which is kind of crazy. And so we need to take all that compound off because it's old and same over here. And on the sink itself, we got to get all the compound off. There's that burn mark and uh, on that sink as well, you got to get the compound off because we're going to put new stuff on. So we're going to use that screw hole right there. You need a flathead screwdriver and just twist. And as you twist, the tray will slide and the CPU comes out. Booyah! So clean the compound. Boop! I7. So uh, scrape the compound off of the heatsink and the processor. Be very delicate about the processor. But yeah, you have to scrape it off the screwdriver because it's probably baked on there. As you can see, there's like no compound on the top, which means that the heat transfer sucks. That's why it's overheating. So I've already put a little thermal paste on here. I'm going to get a little... Um, piece of paper and uh, wipe it across to level it out okay because you want a nice even layer of thermal compound across the whole thing bloop and this is what's going to conduct the heat so just like that all right and we're going to do it also to um, this guy right here the graphics card um, heat or uh, chip so just let me grab my compound. See, it's supposed to look like that on the graphics card chip. So I'm using whatever compound. It's not very fancy. You can buy some really expensive compound. In my opinion, it doesn't really matter because by the time I have to do this again, it's the laptop's going to be garbage. So um, yeah, just put it on there and then spread it out like we did the processor. So I got the heat sinks back on and uh, it's looking pretty good. Now we just got to put it back in the case. And I put it back in the case. took forever, but uh, there's proof that it overheated and died last time. I still got stuff flapping around. I got to put in a bunch of screws still. It's still in shambles, but it is running. So, And it's nice and cool. No heat. Well, there's some heat, but you get what I mean. And there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, no heat coming out the side. If you want to see other cool computer stuff that i do hit up the channel make sure that you uh, like favorite comment and subscribe i've got some sweet stuff come down the pipe as well so stay tuned and we'll we'll see ya next time toodles look at that nice and nice and quiet and cool